health alert tonight from UF researchers. It's about a potentially deadly parasite that's been detected in two local counties. It's called rat lungworm. It's a parasite that can cause meningitis in both humans and animals. Rats and snails were tested in five Florida counties, including St. John's and Alachua counties, and researchers found the parasite. Channel 4's Francesca Amerker joining us live with this health alert tonight. Francesca. Rat lungworm disease. It's a disease that many people here in St. John's County had never heard of, including myself. But now, with researchers finding that disease in multiple counties in Florida, they say everyone needs to be aware. Have you heard of the rat lungworm disease? Just now. What does it sound like to you? Uh, rats giving worms to your lungs? I have not, actually. This is the first time I'm hearing of this parasite. It's a parasite that many people in St. John's County have never heard of. But according to a recent study, everyone, especially dog owners, should beware. Rat lungworm disease, a disease that originated in Hawaii but has already made its way to St. John's County. According to this study, the parasite can be found in rats and snails, often found in yards, which is why owners should look twice. Well, I don't let them smell any other dog's food. Uh, and I watch out that he doesn't eat any mushrooms or any uh, any dead things like a frog or something like that's going to run over. Well, I go on a walk and it takes me about two hours because he tries to eat everything he sees. So I'm, I'm on constant alert. And you better be, because if the parasite is ingested, it can cause nausea, stiff neck, vomiting, and fever. If the parasite becomes trapped and dies in the brain, it can cause meningitis, coma, or death. The study says humans can also get the parasite by consuming infected snails or infected frogs and crustaceans. So they also warn for you to wash every fruit or vegetable that you eat because frogs or snails could have been on them at some point. There's vinegars that you can do, like vinegar and water is, is actually what I do to clean my vegetables. Um, and just making sure, you know, that you're storing them properly. And, you know, when you're going to the grocery store, you're picking stuff that looks ripe and not rotten. And those are all tips that are also mimicked by that study. Now, in my story, I know I fixated on dogs, but the study also goes on to say that horses could also be affected by this and any animals, for that matter, that are outside. So be sure to be on the lookout for your animals. For now, reporting in St. John's County, I'm Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.